So this gets installed in a very similar fashion up against our wall over here. You start with the bug screen, which goes at the base of the wall. You screw it up against the wall or you fasten it to the wall. And then next, you follow up with the delta dry and lath. The delta dry and lath is gonna go over the entire surface of the wall. You're gonna start with the roll at the bottom of the wall and roll it out horizontally. And you're gonna overlap the lath portion of the dry and lath on top of the bug screen so that you have a nice flush install with the bug screen and the plastic material with that nice continuous overlap of the lath material. And then you're gonna work your way up the wall and make sure everything is cut nice and tight around all of your windows and all of your penetrations as tightly as is possible. I brought you to a corner because I wanted you to point, I wanted to point out a specific detail to you. Rather than have this material meet right here with the seam, we strategically wrap the corner in one solid piece, which I think is gonna be beneficial for keeping bulk water out of the corner and really aid in making this wall more robust and long lasting. Once we got this up, we went back after installing all of our screws to studs. We've used these long screws with the cap fasteners, right? And that's just because we're going an extra long distance because we're going through exterior foam insulation to make sure that we solidified the hold on of this rain screen material to our wall. We've gone through and we've tried to tack down areas that might be popped up somewhat. We've used much smaller screws for those. Next, we have put on our 66 is what it's called. It's a casing bead. And this is the one for the base of the wall. As you can see, it's got some holes in it, right? And that's just to allow a little bit of weepage. This goes, as you can see, outside of the bug screen. Now, when we set the 66 here, to avoid any waves, we set a string so that all the way down the wall, we're able to maintain a nice straight line. Because we're using screws, we're able to easily play with this J-bead and ensure that we got the straight line, which is very critical to having a good solid install.